Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. That's an old exercise, but I haven't done it yet in Fusion 360, and I would call it propeller or shifts schraube. And it's not as easy as in the other programs, but let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, first I need a helix, but a helix is not available. I have to go for a coil. So let's go create and go for a coil. There it is. First you need to draw a circle on a plane. And the diameter should be, for example, 30. Okay, now I want to go for height and pitch. The height should be 50 and the pitch should be 200. And I want to have a triangular external and should be on the inside. Yes, and the section size, let's see, 5. Oh, that's okay. And. If I do 0, that's possible. No, I could do it with 1. Yeah, so let's do it with, let's say, 5. Okay, there's no other way to get the path for a helix, which I want to use. So I could use that edge as path for a sweep. But I need a second coil, because there's only option to do it parallel or perpendicular. So I will go for another coil, so let's create another coil. That would be again a circle and diameter would be 115. Okay, same height, 50 and same pitch 200 and let's see right now that's that's external triangle and it's on the inside yes that's okay make the section section size maybe five as well okay now I got two edges which I could use for my sweep, one as a path, one as a, uh, what it's called, it's called, uh, let's take a look, where's the sweep, it's called a uh, rail, yeah, guide rail. Okay, now I need a line, so go for a sketch right on that plane, and that line should go from that point to this point. So project these two points into the sketch. That would be this point and that point. Okay, now make a line between these two points. Okay, stop the sketch. Now let's go to patch environment. Go to sweep and go for path and guide rail. The profile would be this one. The path would be that edge and the guide rail would be this edge. Okay, and now I've got a nice face right here and confirm. Now let's hide those two bodies. This one and that one. Okay, now let's thicken that surface. Go to thicken. And there it is. Select the surface. Make it symmetric and make it yeah, one millimeter, for example. And okay. Now I could make a fillet right on this edge and that might be let's say 40 
Seems I didn't get the right edge. Let's check. It would be... Let's cancel this and delete it. Delete. Let's make it first with a smaller radius. Let's this edge and let's make it 20. Okay. Then it's easier to see. Another fillet on that edge again with say 20. Okay. Yeah. Now maybe change this one to 30 and the other one as well. So that's not possible right here, so let's stay with 20. And I could try to th change the thicken and make this one 0 0.5 symmetric. Check, yeah, that's symmetric. And maybe now I could make a different fillet, 30. No, it's not possible, so I will stay with 20. Okay. Now I could make a pattern, or first I want to make an extrude, so I go for a sketch, right on that plane. Make a circle. And diameter would be 30, see that's, i make it a little bit bigger, so make it, let's say, 32 in diameter. Usually I would go for 30, but that might be a problem. Let's see. Now stop the sketch, go to the model, make a Extrusion, make it in one direction 65, and to the other side make it 5, and make it a new body. Okay, now let's make a fillet on that edge, that would be 15. So, these two bodies might not intersect completely. So, maybe let's change that coil and I would need the sketch for that coil, that would be... No, that's not a variable. And I can't go for the sketch. So, so I will make this one, that sketch. Not 31, but 32 in diameter. Stop that sketch. And make that fill it right here, 16 instead of 15. So I'm quite sure those intersect completely. And maybe change that as well to let's say 70. Okay looks good. Now I will use a circular pattern with that body right here. So go for create. Where's the pattern? Here it is. Circular pattern. I want to pattern the body, that body. The axis would be in this case the y-axis. So go for the y-axis. Right here and make it 3, 4, whatever you want. Let's go for 3.
Yeah, looks pretty good. Now let's combine these bodies. Modify, combine. This one, that one, this one, and that one. And confirm. Now let's see if we can make a fillet right here. It might not be possible, but we can try. Go for a fillet right on that edge and make it, let's say, one millimeter and see if it works. No, it doesn't work. That's sad. So I will leave it here. And it's really not as easy as in the other programs. So, hope you enjoyed it despite the small problems. If you liked it, please give it a like, or leave a nice comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and like my Facebook cat fan page. It would be really lovely. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.